Are you considering moving to Oklahoma City or Dallas, Texas? Well, today I'm going to compare for you the differences between both places. I'm Natalie Bratton with Remax First, and this is Oklahoma City versus Dallas. Welcome to the first video in my series, Oklahoma City versus. And today we're going to discuss the differences between Oklahoma City and Dallas, Texas. Right off the bat, the biggest difference between Oklahoma City and Dallas is the population. The population in Dallas is over 1.3 million people, while the population in Oklahoma City is just over 600,000. And geographically, Oklahoma City is nearly twice the size of Dallas. So the number one biggest difference is that Dallas has a much higher population density. So if you love big city life and you don't mind traffic and you don't mind commuting and you don't mind the congestion of a large city, then you will love Dallas. If you want less traffic, shorter commute times, and less population density, slower pace kind of life, then Oklahoma City would win out over Dallas. The second item in Oklahoma City versus Dallas to discuss is race and ethnic groups. So Dallas does have more minorities than Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City is only 45% non-white, while uh, Dallas's large Hispanic population puts them up at 71% non-white. The third item to discuss in Oklahoma City versus Dallas is cost of living. As a whole, it is cheaper to live in Oklahoma City. Our home values are definitely lower than they are in Dallas. Most expenses are going to be slightly lower in Oklahoma City. Our you know, groceries, utilities, transportation, generally everything is gonna be a little bit less expensive here. Now on the other hand, if you live in Dallas, you don't pay state income tax. And if you actually work in Texas, you probably have a higher income than you do if you work in Oklahoma City. But you just have to weigh the differences between um, buying a home in Oklahoma City versus buying a home in Texas. There's quite a big difference there in price and uh, just weigh the pros and cons. The fourth item to discuss in Oklahoma City versus Dallas is the weather. And honestly, it's not that different. Now, Oklahoma City is 200 miles north of Dallas. That's not that far. We also were at a little bit higher elevation. So, Whatever the weather is in Dallas, generally it's just going to be a few degrees cooler in Oklahoma City. But as far as like the amount of sunshine, the amount of rain, storms and that sort of thing, they're very similar. So if you don't mind a degree or two, uh, Oklahoma City is you know, just going to be slightly cooler. They both have high risk of thunderstorms, while Dallas is going to have more effects from maybe hurricanes in the Gulf. Oklahoma City tends to get more tornado action in the plains, but both, they're pretty similar. Risks are not that different. Number five in Oklahoma City versus Dallas is commute times. We've already discussed that Dallas is a much more congested city as far as population density. And so obviously the commute times in Oklahoma City are gonna be shorter. The average commute time in Oklahoma City is six to seven minutes shorter than it is in Dallas. Not a huge difference, but uh, you know, it all depends on where you decide to live. Number seven in Oklahoma City versus Dallas is healthcare. Both cities have access to amazing doctors and hospitals. Um, anything you need, you're gonna find in both cities. On average though, people in Oklahoma City spend more money on healthcare than they do in Dallas. I'm not sure why. And just so you know, both places are uh, considered to be hard for people with allergies. If you have allergies, in both cities, you will stock up on Oliver and Claritin. 
Number eight in Oklahoma City versus Dallas. Let's talk education. Public schools, K through 12, are better funded in Dallas than they are in Oklahoma City. Oklahoma has had a long-standing problem of funding public education. So in Dallas, teachers are paid better and they spend more money per student in Dallas than they do in Oklahoma City. In Oklahoma City, there's more than one school district. Oklahoma City Public Schools is the largest. You know, in spite of the state having trouble with funding, there are some really good school districts in this area. But as a whole, when college students in Oklahoma City graduate with education degrees, a lot of them move to Dallas so that they can have smaller class sizes and uh, get better pay. Oklahoma City has 20 universities in it, where Dallas only has 10. If you have a kid that's growing up and you want them to live at home forever, at least through college, uh, there's more universities in Oklahoma City than there are in Dallas for them to attend and live at home. Number nine in Oklahoma City versus Dallas is sports. So this part of the country, we are pretty crazy about football and most other sports. Dallas has more national professional sporting teams, of course, football, soccer, baseball, and basketball, where Oklahoma City only has the NBA basketball team. However, Oklahoma City actually has more sporting events and more sporting arenas than Dallas. So we have more sports going on than Dallas does. And apparently we're just trying to set it up for the day when we are a big league city like Dallas and have more sports because we have more sporting arenas than Dallas actually does. Number 10 in Oklahoma City versus Dallas is unemployment and job growth. And really, there's not a lot to say here. Both are very close in their unemployment rate. Both are projected to have positive job growth over the next decade. And if you look at the different industries represented in Dallas and Oklahoma City, they're very similar statistically. So uh, I would say that if you're looking for a job or you're wanting to move your business, both places are a good place to look. Here are your bonus tips for Oklahoma City. So Oklahoma City is considered one of the best places to move after you retire from the military. So there's a lot more benefits for military in Oklahoma than there are in Texas. And if you're a disabled veteran, you get lots of break, tax breaks and benefits in Oklahoma City versus if you live in Dallas. So based on the information from bestplaces.net and versus.com and well, my personal experience, Oklahoma City ranks slightly higher as the best place to live between Oklahoma City and Dallas. If you are interested in moving to Oklahoma City, check out my other videos about living in Oklahoma and go to my website, oklahomahomeseller.com. Subscribe to my channel so that next Friday you get the video, Oklahoma City versus Austin, Texas.